Hey guys, so here we are at the beginning of day number five. Feeling slightly weathered, I've got to tell you. We've been up until three, four every morning so far, editing and, and all those sh shenanigans. So it's, uh, yeah, feeling slightly weathered. There's the, uh, the pit. That's where no sleep's been happening. <laughs> um, <coughs> so today we're going, we're about to set off to Jules Holland's studio and we're hooking up with uh, Dave Swift there, who has got, apparently he's got all these amazing basses, like a huge bass collection. So we're going to be checking that out. And then after we've been to uh, Jules' studio, then we're going over to, well, the other side of London, and hooking up with Lawrence Cottle, the mighty Lawrence Cottle. Uh, do a search on do a search on YouTube and check out Lawrence Cottle, he's an absolute beast. Um, so hopefully it's going to be a, a killer day with no parking tickets, and no clamps or, or anything like that. Uh, but guys, if you live in London, what's the deal with the, the, the driving is insane. It's just so tough. So, well not the driving, but the parking is just ferocious. So yeah, but anyway, it's gonna be a killer day and we're gonna have some fun. Let's go to the studio.
yeah. all I want now, I want, I want some buttons on there as well. Yeah. I need big clunky buttons <laughs> just to yeah. compliment it. Look at it. I mean, actually, you, you need two people to pull these. Yeah. They're like so stiff. But, pieces. And, and I've still got my original Polytone amp from when I was about 17, my Mini Brute 3. Yeah, yeah. And it's been sort of kicked, it's been sort of knocked downstairs, it's still going strong, it's still yeah, great. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I got this about 10 years ago. And uh, yeah, look, it's that, I think Soundwave, wasn't that the. The yeah. forerunner of the, of the bass center so, yeah, yeah. in, in Montreal, you know. But um, I just love the fact that it's it's got the polytone of the logo. Oh, cool. yeah. I mean, that is cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And, and it was the first time that Fender had ever done a, a preamp. Oh, um, was it? Yeah. Yeah, it's the first time, and it really you, you switch that on, it's just like you have to run for cover. <laughs> but just the fact it's, it's all walnut, including the neck, including the, the fretboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's a beautiful piece of wood as well. I mean, visually and sonically as well. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> this is, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever yeah, I want to yeah. do some old James and James. Well, you want to fit in. Yeah, ex exactly. Yeah. And not stand out. This is, this is the one I, yeah, it's the main one I need. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> and did you all go to die? Size of that. That's, that's just the. Uh, I know, you've let me play that. It's humongously huge. <laughs> it is what? Is yeah. that the presentation? Yeah. Yeah, that's the Andy Lecky presentation. So. And, and it, is, it is a great bass. I, I mean, I love you know, the, the physicality of it. I, yeah. I guess the, the downside is because it's got no onboard. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, for me, it's more useful now to have some onboard, uh, an onboard preamp. So, yeah. uh, so whenever I use this, I have to use some external volume pedals. And where, and where are we, Scott? Jules Holland's studio. Hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, we've just finished at Jules Holland Studio with Dave Swift, which was super cool. We'll have put loads of video on, that, on there for you. Uh, but Lawrence here... Ah, See the big smiley face. He's never been in Nando's before, so he's a Nando's virgin. And uh, we thought we'd treat him. This is probably going to be the highlight of his trip. Breaking his virginity. Yeah, we're breaking his Nando's virginity.
We're in the pub, guys, and I wanted to ask Lawrence because there's a, a picture, an old picture, of Lawrence juggling with Jacko, and, and Lawrence is just going to tell us part of that story. Just, yeah. part, just part of it. Just part of it. Can I only tell you part. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was in um, Berkeley in the uh, summer of uh, 1981, and Weather Report were playing in town, and uh, a friend of mine knew Jacko, and he said, "Let's go down and, and see Jacko in the daytime while they were setting up." So we headed down to the, uh, the opera house. In, in Boston and as we were walking into the building Jacko happened to be walking out so we bumped into him and uh, he was very friendly we had a nice chat about music and his uh, his family and everything and then we suddenly realised uh, just chatting about what we do that we both jugglers so uh, we went to a shop and we bought some uh, some of those little sandbags and we went on to uh, Boston Common and uh, did a lot of juggling a lot of tr trading and uh, sw swapping tricks and stuff like that and uh, um, yeah, my friends took some pictures while we were doing that, and that's probably one of the pictures that you saw. Then yeah, we went yeah. down to see the sound check, and they did the sound check, and uh, we had an amazing gig, which ha happened to turn out to be turns out to be Jacko's last gig with Weather Report in 1981. And, and Lawrence was only 17 as well. Just got home, as you can see. Um, almost there. That was the the interview with Lawrence. Was the I can't even remember. I think it's the tenth interview that we've done since we've been down here, and uh, and we're nearly finished now. We've got one more tomorrow, and and then and then it's going to be uh, time to go home. And unfortunately, Gav, who's been doing all the vlogs, he's leaving today as well because his uh, his kid's got a birthday party tomorrow. Got to be your kid's birthday party, right? So he's going. And, uh, and he's just done an absolute killer job as well. Just, it's been absolutely amazing having him as part of this uh, as part of this adventure that we've been on. And, uh, and tomorrow, actually, we've got Ian King, who is a uh, fantastic, um, obviously, bass player from down here in London. Super busy, so it's going to be a great interview tomorrow. And I think we're going to do the interview actually in the gallery in uh, in Camden, which is you'll have seen it in one of the earlier vlogs. We phoned Martin, who runs the gallery. He said we can use their space, so it should be cool. But uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, here's Lawrence. Where are you going, Lawrence? Oh, he's ran off. He ran off. He saw me recording, ran, ran off. Anyway, I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.